Hello there, I'm Steph and I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY butter, okay? Dead simple and you know what, I quite like making my guests, when they come around for dinner, do a little bit of work and this is absolutely perfect. So when they sit down, you give them all a jam jar each and they make their own butter. It's so simple, all you need is some double cream and a jam jar. Okay, the double cream needs to be taken out of the fridge a little bit in advance of you making it because it needs to be at room temperature before you start, otherwise it's a bit of a nightmare. Nice clean jam jar, about, fill it about a third full with cream. So this is nice and thick already, this one. There you go. And then put the lid on really, really tightly. And now all you need is a lot of muscle because you need to shake it, and you need to shake it, and you need to shake it. So. Get started. Good shaking action. I want to hear it slopping from back to front. Takes a little while though. I'll see you in a bit. Ah, okay. Right. At one point, you will notice that the, the sound of it suddenly changes from a kind of a to a clunk, clunk, clunk. You can hear there's a thump. And that means that we've got butter. I want to do a shake! Ah! Okay, now we need to get the fat butter out of the watery buttermilk. So you need to get a sieve over a bowl and then a nice clean tea towel over the top. Okay. And then get all of the slop inside here pour it through. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, is it there? Yes, it is. Blonk! Ah! It looks a little bit snotty, but you can see that that's all the buttermilk there and it's separated from all of the lovely butter inside there. Now, the second bit is to wrap this up and give it a really good squeeze. We want to try and get as much of that water out as we can. Whoa, that's lovely. And this is so simple. It's amazing because you kind of think of butter as some kind of industrial process, but it really is the simplest thing in the world. It just is cream that's been agitated. Okay, let's have a little look. Oh, look at that! <laughs> you can see it's not quite like the butter that's in your fridge. It's still got a little bit of buttermilk there, but let's give it a little try, see if it tastes good. Nice little chunk of crusty bread. A little bit of butter. Okay, just have a little taste. That is absolutely phenomenal. Now, what you can do is add a little bit of salt to it and it'll last a little bit longer in the fridge. So, what's going on inside here? How have we managed to make butter? Well, when you agitate it, when you shake it around, all of the fat globules that are in the in the cream begin to stick together, kind of coagulate together, and they leave behind all of the buttermilk, which is the watery stuff. The thing is though, don't chuck the buttermilk away. This stuff is really, really good for making soda bread. It's a great baking ingredient. Lovely bit of science, happens really, really quickly. And you know what? Everyone can do it at the table and eat their own, very own homemade butter. How cool is that? Thank you very much for watching. Come back and watch some more.